This is Steve Farhood from Warriors Boxing. We're taking a look at Arthur Abraham's seventh defense of the IBF middleweight title here against Elvin Ayala in Holstein, Germany in March. This is action from round 12. And on October 4th, Arthur Abraham will defend the IBF middleweight title against Raul Marquez on pay-per-view at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you missed the original broadcast, a replay available at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Abraham Ayala was a pretty competitive fight. Ayala fought, fought, with a, fought to a draw with Sergio Mora, the champion from the contender. And he pushed Abraham back in rounds 9 and 10 in this fight. Seemed to be coming on, perhaps to spring the big upset. But what we learned about Abraham in this fight, he can fight backing up, he can fight coming forward. He's a well-rounded fighter with a good chin. And what you're going to see in this 12th and final round of this title fight is he has one-punch knockout power as well. The versatility of Abraham really is what makes him such a good middleweight and a legitimate champion as well. He's looking forward down the road to fighting Kelly Pavlik in what would be an explosive middleweight unification for him. Abraham's done it against punchers. He's done it against boxers. Here against Ayala, you see him sucking Ayala in, hoping to get a counter-punching opportunity as this fight winds down. Nice tight defense. That's one of the assets Abraham has. He looks like he's easy to hit, but he's not. And you see his patience. He's waiting for that one opportunity. It comes very late in this fight. Now Abraham senses the bell. He's closing in. And right here, you see Arthur Abraham explode. One punch knockout, left uppercut, one of the highlight knockouts of 2008. In September 2006, Abraham made his third defense of the IBF middleweight title against the power puncher from Colombia, Edison Miranda, who was 26 and 0 coming into this fight. And this was certainly the toughest test of Arthur Abraham's title reign. Again, he's the IBF middleweight champion. He's made seven successful defenses. His eighth defense will be live on pay-per-view October 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you missed the original broadcast, 9 p.m. replay Eastern time. This was an absolutely brutal fight, one of the best fights of 2006. Edison Miranda, who knew he would test Arthur Abraham Miranda, tremendous right-hand puncher. This is round four, and Arthur Abraham had to take so many punches and so much punishment in this fight to keep that IBF middleweight title. You see Miranda just load up on that right hand. In order to keep the title, Abraham would have to overcome a broken jaw in this fight and a lot of abuse dealt out by Miranda. It was a tremendous fight. I remember hearing about this. I had to get a tape. When I got a tape, it was an even better fight than I had heard about. Abraham's so impressive. And this is really the fight where boxing fans realize Arthur Abraham is not just the IBF middleweight champion, but a legitimate champion. And you can't help but project down the road and wonder how Arthur Abraham would do against Kelly Pavlik and what would be a tremendous middleweight unification fight. Again, Arthur Abraham to defend the IBF middleweight title against Raul Marquez live on pay-per-view, 3 p.m. Eastern time on October 4th with a replay at 9 p.m. Eastern. Check your local pay-per-view provider. 
Also available in Spanish. Don't miss it. You're looking at middleweight contender and former junior middleweight champion of the world, Raul Marquez. This was his IBF eliminator against Giovanni Lorenzo in June. The winner to earn an automatic title shot against IBF middleweight champion Arthur Abraham. That fight, Marquez Abraham, will be live on pay-per-view October 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you missed the original broadcast, 9 p.m. a replay, 9 p.m. Eastern. Marquez, a member of the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. He's a veteran. He and Oscar De La Hoya, still championship quality after all these years from that great Olympic team. And you see Marquez a southpaw. This was a very demanding fight. Giovanni Lorenzo, 26-0 going in. Favorite over Marquez. That's the end of round 11. And you can see Marquez, who overcomes a lot. He bleeds. He comes back. He doesn't start fighting until he sees his own blood. And this was a very, very tight fight. Start of round 12. Both fighters know that close fight, the winner of this round very easily could win the decision. And what you're going to see is Marquez, who's an all-action fighter, a southpaw, backing Lorenzo up, realizing he needs this round. He says, come on, let's fight. You see the southpaw style. Arthur Abraham, interestingly, has not defended the IBF middleweight title against his southpaw yet. He's made seven defenses, Abraham. That eighth defense will be against Raul Marquez live on pay-per-view October 4, 3 p.m. Eastern Time with a replay at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Raul Marquez so aggressive here in this 12th round. A veteran knows and senses when he needs a round. He would win this fight on points, by one point on all three cards, because he won this 12th round. A veteran like Marquez, he knew that if he was going to fight for a world title again, this was probably going to be his last chance. He's an aggressive fighter. He's fighting Abraham, who's an aggressive puncher. It should be a fantastic fight, certainly one of the highlights of the 2008 boxing year. And at this point, as we reach the end of this round 12, the final round of this fight, you can see Giovanni Lorenzo slowing down. Marquez, the veteran that he is, knows he needs the round, keeps coming forward, keeps punching with that big left hand. And he's going to do enough to win this round. And just by winning this round, it earned him a shot at the IBF middleweight champion, Arthur Abraham. Live on pay-per-view, October 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern, a replay 9 p.m. Eastern. And Raul Marquez, you know that he will give everything he has against Abraham in his title fight. A veteran, he knows there won't be any second chances if he doesn't come through against Abraham. Two aggressive fighters, one southpaw, one right-hander. Abraham, an established champion, having made seven defenses of the IBF title. And defense number eight will come against Marquez on October 4th, live on paper.